Fabrication. Great. So we're definitely going to see more of these biobots, I'm assuming. I may even have to fight one of the actual robots. Crap! You'll be back. Little jerk's gonna pop out somewhere and attack me when, I'm, when I least expect it now. Let's cut the cord. A very interesting purple glow. I don't know if there was ever this type of purple lighting in the main game. This I don't remember. Honestly, with the yellow suit and the purple lighting, it kind of works. It all works together pretty well. It feels almost like a different game. Kill all the enemies. Okay. Bring them to me. Oh no, oh no, they locked me out. Oh, you son of a... He'll be back. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, God. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, where's the last one? He's coming. I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? I had a feeling. Wait, did this his, did this gun just shoot the three laser beams like the plasma cutter? Definitely hear one. I need a oh crap, damn it. I need a better spot to hold out. Damn spiders. I have no more health. Are there in here? There's a hidden passage on the upper floor, like the one back in my lab. That was very tense. I will. I won't lie. I have a little bit of chest pain from that. I. It's because I had no idea when they were going to end. I. I didn't think there were that many in here.
I would love to work on a game like this. I have so many ideas for different horror games that I think would be really cool because they're not things that anyone's done before. Um, I, I, I like to incorporate my background in psychology into my ideas, and uh, I feel like there's so much potential in the horror genre that people haven't even touched yet. I hope that someday I'll have the opportunity to, to like officially work on a game. Hmm. Oh, we're just going to move it around. Okay. I was playing Cyberpunk. Uh, I've been playing it a lot lately, but I was playing it yesterday, and I came across something I'd never seen before, which I thought was really cool, which was a, it was an Easter egg to um, Death Stranding, which really took me aback when I saw it. I was like, wait, is that a, a BB? Yep. It certainly was. Hmm. I guess I need to be over to the side. Alright, let's get down. Come on, Jacob. Jacob, get down. It's not wanting to get down. Oh, great. I hope it's not broken. There we go. Good. I always thought the moving boxes was kind of weird in the main story because they only used it maybe one or two times that I remember. So it kind of felt like a feature that was kind of underutilized. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't want it in the game too much, but at the same time, it did feel like it was only there for like one or two moments. Yeah, I've been fleshing out a, a really uh, a horror game that I want to make someday. And I'm hoping I can make it eventually. Before someone else comes up with an idea that's similar. Because I feel like it's an idea that has so much potential that someone's got to do it at some point. Alright, let's go up. Hmm, that's not a good sign. I've talked about this game a little bit back when I played the the main game on, on YouTube uh, of Callisto. Uh, I talked a lot about some of the idea, and uh, it's been uh, completely <laughs> expanded since then by a lot. Made it in. Whoa, the whole drawer moved me backwards. It's kind of weird. Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen when I press this button? I think the two headed guys are gonna pop up soon. Crap, another one of these. Try this again. Got it. I just, I feel nervous walking back into this room. Like something really bad's gonna happen. Walls for the design of these walls are interesting. I wonder what the purpose is for it. I, I would say it, it maybe it's for recording like audio, but it's a hallway, so normally you wouldn't record audio in a hallway. I'm opening the elevator, keep moving through to reach the loading bay, and prepare yourself. What you're about to see, know that I am no longer that person. Uh-huh. So they all say. Ooh, 
who you are and who you want to be are, are, is often separated by quite a lot. Luckily, you can always change yourself to be like who you want to be. It's not that. I mean, it, it, it's, it sounds um, complicated on paper, but in practice, um, it just takes... Um, that guy's in a bag. What is this place? It just takes uh, a little bit of dedication. I don't like this. A little creepy. But yeah, no, changing yourself and just into who you want to be is um, just requires you to put your foot down with yourself and make it happen. Sounds simple. Why do you want to put it that way? But it's uh, it's because it is. It is simple. It's just um, most people overcomplicate it with themselves. Well, so far, um, this stuff that cannot be forgiven is nothing worse than what we've already seen in the prison so far. I mean, we've seen far worse than this. We can open one, but not the other. He can just sense that there's nothing in the other one. Oh, so it's just another one of those. For even though Cole and I took different paths, we each had the same goal in mind. Like evolution. You, I realize the mistakes I have made. Ironically, this particular mistake may just be our last hope. Jacob? No. No. Escape. You will never escape. Great. I spent so much time upgrading that damn thing. This is a factory. See what you can find. You'll need a replacement to reach the loading bay. I really like that baton. Me too. Locate a new weapon. Man, that sucks. Unless it's stronger than the baton that I currently had, great. But I, I'm, I'm doubtful. File missing. So I'm noticing some slight storytelling, some underlining storytelling, and I, I'm sure that I'm wrong. But it seems like they may be, and like I said, I may I may be wrong about this. I think I'm probably misinterpreting it. But it seems like there's some underlining story about Jacob maybe having more to do with this prison than we think. Maybe he was here longer than you would assume from the main story, but I, I think I'm probably wrong about that. There's just a few little story beats that have been hidden underneath some of the lines that would imply certain things. Um, could just be rushed writing. Sometimes with rushed writing, you are accidentally saying something that you don't intend to say, but we'll see. I'll be curious to see how it plays out. So yeah, she said, my greatest horror, like things that cannot be forgiven, yet what did we see down here? We saw the biobots that we already fought. So there really wasn't anything too crazy. I don't know why she was like, prepare yourself. I don't know. It's a little weird. I will say though, the biobots look cool. I do like the design. Sneak past the biobots. What if they suddenly turn around? <laughs> you see nothing, you see nothing, you see nothing. Look for a vent. There's one 
Okay, where? Where's the vent? Where's the vent? Run, Jakob. I see it, I see it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. They're gonna gang up on me. Excuse me. Oh, they're, they're, they're blocking me. Grab me from behind, please don't grab me. Ooh, man, that was a little tense, just a little. Luckily, these bots don't do a lot of damage. I don't like how dark this air vent is. Of course, of course. Oh, we probably have to wait for the one fan to reach us, and then we go back, um, backwards rather than keep, rather than going forwards. If I had to guess. Come on, Jacob. Oh, it's coming back. Come on, hurry. How close were we? No, oh, it doesn't look like it was that close, so. It felt a lot closer than it was. Honestly, I expected to turn around and see it just right there at the end. That would've been kind of cool. Make make you feel like, oh, there was a, a huge risk. But turning around and seeing nothing kind of made it feel like you were running from nothing. All right, let's. Nope, let's not go in there yet. Let's use the store. Did she say how many uh, data drives we have to find? I'm not sure if she did. Oh god. I don't like the looks of this hallway. Keep clear. Why? What the hell happens in here? What is that? Please don't be the big guys. Okay, good. I'm not too worried about those guys. I can fight them. But now we know they're loose, so I'll have to keep my eye out. That's locked.
I'm not seeing anything else in here, so I think we gotta go back. When I saw the, his flashlights showing up in the reflection, I won't lie, it made me a little nervous. I had a feeling maybe they were going to uh, hide an enemy on the other side for a second. Just charges at you once you open the door. Off we go. That's right. I shot you. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You can't do anything about it. You just have to stand there. Because you can't reach me. Hey, hey, I'm still here. That's right. Be mad about it. He's like, if I could only reach through there. But I wasn't programmed to reach through cracks. Well, fight your programming. Fight it. I wonder if we could actually take him out from here. Is he going to hide? Oh, he's scared. I feel a little bad. Oh man, I didn't mean to shoot that one. I'm shooting him right in the brain. Thank you for waiting patiently. Here's your next round. I, you know, he might be invincible. I probably should stop wasting my ammo. Oh wait, I actually could come out here. Yes, go about your business. Okay, well, we avoided that fight. Is this a storage for the robot? Yeah. Interesting. Well, what was in here? I am so sorry. I didn't mean to walk on, walk in on you while you were showering, my friend. Um, you can go about your business. Hopefully, these robots are not waterproof. One can hope. Biobot door. Mm. There, a kinetic hammer. Use the console to open the enclosure. Unlock a hammer. Is it hammer time, really? We're gonna go there. All right. I mean, I like the baton, but I'll take a hammer. Wait, is one of, are one of, are these hammers? They are. Weird. I don't like the looks of it, but maybe it'll be worth it. Oh, great. Okay, this one's going to be a challenge. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh no. I can hear them. Oh man. 
do I do? Is there a way out? Dead end. <clears throat> this is not good. I'm definitely gonna die. They're faster than me, I can't outrun them. I, I hate that they circle you. They kind of go around. It, it, it sucks. It really sucks. I'm going to die. I should just let it happen. Punched my head clean off. Oh, got it. Okay, good. not bad pretty good actually i mean it took them out pretty fast but maybe it's just especially good against droids all right let's um can we break these <gasps> we can interesting Not sure how I feel about this hammer yet, but it does seem to be pretty strong at the moment. It kind of suits our outfit. I'll give it that. Kinetic Hammer. The Kinetic Hammer is an effective melee weapon against biobots. It is very effective against biophages. Um, the ground slam attack causes area effect damage against multiple enemies. Hold down the R1 button to charge the hammer. Release the R1 button to initiate the attack. Use the Kinetic Hammer to destroy yellow crates. Okay. I think I figured all that out already, apart from the charge thing, which we'll try right now. Wow! So good. I'm assuming that the charge attack is not for the boxes. Where are we? Hello. Damn. This thing is pretty damn good. Yes, come here, my friend. Damn it, I'm trying to dodge, but... Not doing too good. <sighs> How many of you are there? Surely she didn't make too many of them, right? Okay. 
Okay, well, that was a lot of them, but we got them. I don't really like using it against the boxes. It doesn't actually work as well as you'd think. It kind of swings around and doesn't quite hit them. I mean, it does the job, but it just it feels a little clunky. I, I think the developers probably should have made it where he kind of targeted the boxes a little more. So if he were to swing near them, he'd he'd go at them. I don't know. It may, that might have made it too. It might have felt too handholdy if they did that. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to actually mess around with it and see. Now here's the question: How is the hammer against the the droids, the security bots? Hello, my friend. He's invincible. Alright, off we go. <gasps> yes, the store. Please make a selection. Can we upgrade the hammer? Oh, we can't. I keep wanting to sell the health packs, but I also know that if we have a big boss fight, I'm probably going to need to hold on to them, so. You're getting close. I'll meet you at the ship. Quickly, Jacob. I don't know how... I don't like this area. This You know what this area screams to me? It screams two-headed dudes. The split guys. Oh my god. I hope I don't have to fight one. How much longer we have? Hello, robots. Can they destroy the boxes? Damn. this mean? Oh no, oh no. Oh god. Run, run, Jacob. Oh, damn it. I didn't have time. to die. See, uh, normally if I'm in an arena like this, fighting against a bunch of enemies, my strategy would be to run around, but I can't run away from these guys. So the fight just kind of goes wherever it goes. Got a bad feeling about this. Ooh, man. The music's intense, the environment's intense. It's good. I like that sound, the sound effect of the water. It sounds like a waterfall. Like one of that size, very well. So kudos to that sound design. Oh, here we have our, our gas station pumps that are randomly in a hallway. The robots all run on gasoline. do 
didn't like this hole. Come closer. What? One hit. One hit kill hammer. Nice. Okay, maybe the hammer was worth it. Maybe it was worth it. I'll give it that. If it didn't take so long to do the charge attack, I would do the charge attack here and hit multiple of them, but... It takes too long to do, especially with how fast some of these enemies tend to be. fun. The hammer's pretty good. I never should have doubted it. Absolutely worth it. running away? Damn. Well, I guess Jacob could lean back, kick his feet up, and be like, you know what? They're afraid of me now. That would be cool is if at this point on, whenever, if you have to go back to the prison, all the zombies just run away from you and hide. That would be cool. I'm assuming they'll be back. They were like, you know what? We're going to get a gang of like 10 of us. Go after Jacob, take him out finally. They're like, he's got Mjolnir. We're in trouble. It basically is Mjolnir. Yeah. We have Mjolnir. That's that's exactly what we have. I can't see you, but I know you're here. suddenly got very cold in my home all of a sudden and uh no 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 i'm telling you oh god can't tell what's real or not anymore. Please tell me that's all of them. Well, I guess some of them had to have been real because they dropped loot, so... There's that. Lots of credits. What can we ditch? Controller keeps making weird noises. Ooh. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. Too late to take it back. I like this hammer. I am a fan. I am sold. Where can I buy one? I don't just want one. I want I want 10 of them. What happens if I go down this hall? What are you doing? Is he supposed to be like this? So many of them. This hammer is pretty damn good. heal. Hello. Wow, he was pretty easy to take out as well. supposed to be going this way. You know what, just in case, let's let's go back down that hall and see. Cuz something tells me I probably should have went down here first. It's going to be locked, right? No. This feels very dead spacey. What in the hell happened here? They were instantly killed somehow. It's kind of weird. Wonder how that happened. What is in the box? Hands? You know what? I really hope if they do a sequel to this game, I hope that they are inspired by, which I'm assuming this is logically what they would do, but I hope that they kind of go for a Dead Space 2 vibe where Isaac's kind of going insane and do that with him, where the game is um, flipping out between some type of psychosis. That would be really cool. I think it would work well for this game. And they've kind of already established him being um, prone to that with how he's seen Max in the very close to the beginning of the. You're not real. You're not real. You're not real. You're not real. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my god. Developers are jerks. That was mean. <laughs> but in a good way. It was mean in a good way. I won't lie. My chest just went inside. Why is there so much noise in the air vents? They're really taunting us with the, the two-headed guy, aren't they? Oh god. Oh. 
This sucks. This really sucks. I guess I can't um, execute those guys. Weird. Okay, here we go. Please don't open to be the guy right there. I'm, I'm expecting it to be the two-headed guy. Or as I like to call him, Paul. Going down. I'm here, Jacob. You must hurry. Going as fast as I can. That hatch leads down to the loading bay. I'm waiting for you on the ship. Great. I already know this is going to be bad. I can sense it. Complete. Not bad looking. Alright, so. We need a fuse. Of course we need a fuse. Oh no, I don't like this. This is a bad sign right there, going through those. I think that they're probably going for some slight symbolism there. All right, I have no ammo for skunk guns, so let's switch. Uh, I don't like this. Just wake up. You know what? Forget it, don't wake up. I'll just take you out. We can't? Hello. Good morning. Hope you're happy to see me, my robotic friend. Damn it. I can't charge it fast enough. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time.